Greetings, my name is Piero and welcome back to the Indian Slice. Today I wanted to show you a quick video on uh, the bull gold armor and is it possible to do a full poise PvP build f for Elden Ring? Now, of course, it's going to be a little bit of a funny video because of course it's not really it's not really a good idea, spoiler alert, to uh, fully dedicate all of your stats to wearing armor because armor in Souls games and Elden Ring doesn't really matter too much. But uh, here is my setup. I have the full ball gold armor set. Also, if you want to know how to get uh, this set, I have a couple of videos that you can check out. But anyway, I have the Earth Tree's Favor plus one. I couldn't get the plus two just yet. Which, this raises my maximum equip load and HP and stamina, which is pretty much the, the ring of favor from Dark Souls. The Bogot's Talisman, which greatly increases my poise. The Great Jar's Arsenal, which vastly raises my maximum equip load. And Shard of Alexander, which is just a bonus thing to give me more uh, damage on my Moon Veil. Now, of course, this is a sorcery build. It's not really fully focusing on the bull goat armor set, but to work around the fat roll, because inevitably I, you will fat roll with this, I came up with an idea. So we currently have 133 poise, by the way. This is the full bull goat set, including the talisman, 133 poise, which is extremely overkill, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so to work around the fat rolling, I've put the laden heart tier in my flask temporarily boosts poise the winged crystal tier which temporarily race reduces equip load which makes me fast roll as you will see here i'll drink my wondrous physic and uh as you can see i am no longer fat rolling i am fast rolling and i can play like everyone else and uh, this normally lasts about 30 plus seconds which is more than enough for a pvp but uh, the moment this runs out, it, it's it's over for me. Okay, so let's uh, let's do some PvP fights, shall we? Let's let's do it. All right, here we are. Hello there. Okay. Let's get to it. Oh, interesting. Nice. You want to poison me? What are you doing, bro? Oh, are you healing? Was that a heal? Really? That was a mistake. Alright. As you can see, uh, this build highly favors fights against dex builds. Um, I mean, I applaud that guy for trying something new, honestly. It's, uh, it, I've never seen that uh, build before, and every time I'm going to see an original build and something that looks fun, I'm going to applaud it, so GG's to you, my friend. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. How are you healing? Wait, what? I... Huh. I have no idea what that was. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I feel super newbie for using this armor. Every time I, every time I see people use this armor, I always, like, scoff. Because, um... Yeah. I bet this person did not expect me to be, a. Uh, Sorcery build. All right, GG's. I think I survived a little um, the sorcery there from because of my poise. All right, next stop. This is this is a really surprising outcome to this, but I think I'm being carried by the moon bell. <laughs> All right, let's see who's next. But as always, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. This is a bit of a goofy video. I normally do these PvP fights with different builds and weapons. Um, but this one's a, a little bit of a quick one. I just wanted to myth bust the bull goat craze that's been happening around. I've been seeing a lot of people commenting on my videos, um, the bull goat armor, uh, how to get how to get the bull goat armor video, and um, yeah, people people really enjoyed this armor set. And I'm telling you, you don't need it. 
um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a bit of a highlight for uh, for all those people who think that this is the best armor set. Alrighty, we have another poise guy. Oh, he's gonna have the. Never mind. Never. I think he's gonna have the scream. Lol. Wow. Oh, you're fat rolling. Oh my god, that's awesome. Wait! What? No! That's not how you're just supposed to do! You're not supposed to do that. That deserves a point down. Wow. Yeah, in case you don't know, you're not supposed to use uh, healing in the friendly duels at the main gate. Um, yeah, that was uh, breaking the rules right there. Alrighty. Oh, you again. I'm going to bow. He doesn't bow, I don't think he knows about it. Alright. Are you just gonna run away? Lol. If you heal, I swear. Oh, that roll catch almost happened. GG's, my friend. GG's. I applaud you. Also, I don't I don't agree with this name, your name choice. Uh, if you speak Spanish, you'll know what that means. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, here we go. This is my first time fighting this person. Oh, you got a goat? You're, are you a goat? Why you got goat in your name? Lol. Wow. GG's. This is level 170, right? Wow. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked that this is actually working. Okay, so uh, the the best advice I can give you right now for this uh, armor set, um, yeah, just just use the moon veil. As crazy as that sounds, I mean, I don't think it's very practical though, because you're still gonna be fat rolling. So. Um, I guess for PvP, it kind of works if you have it set the way I have it set up. But once your flask runs out, uh, the physic flask effects, uh, yeah, it's over. Because I don't think anyone can win while fat rolling, so... Um, yeah, I highly depend on my on my fast roll. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the uh, in amount of endurance that I have combined with all of those talismans. All right. Hello. Everyone does that. This is the new generation. They don't bow anymore. <laughs> My god, I can't believe this is working. I actually cannot believe that this is working. I honestly thought I was gonna get my ass kicked. I, I'm actually shocked. I am genuinely shocked that this is working. I am 100% shocked. Okay, let's do a couple more. <laughs> As always guys, thank you for watching, but uh, we're gonna be doing a couple more here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, are you just... What? What was that? Really? That's your plan? Really? That's your plan? My god. This... Okay. 
I gotta say, I gotta be honest, I'm honestly very surprised. I guess this works because everyone's just playing aggro. Also, yeah, I don't know if it has to do with me mixing my fix, my, my physic with the extra poise, but yeah. Anyway, I, I'm I'm shocked that this is working. Uh, I guess you should try it for yourself and see if um if it fits your playstyle. I mean, I prefer I don't prefer stuff like this. Okay, let's for the last one. Let's summon someone that has the uh, bull goat armor. Let's see how it performs against the bull goat armor. This person's name is the Rock, so uh, it's uh, very fitting. If you don't know, uh, have all the Rock was pretty much Tragoth from from uh, Dark Souls. All right. I wonder what he's using. Oh, hey. pokey stick. He's got a pokey hey. stick. All right, hey, hey, let's drink. Interesting. Of course, of course. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, well, uh, this is a very punishing build, what I've learned. Pair it with the the, uh, the Moon Veil or the Rivers of Blood to be the ultimate asshole. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. As always, please consider subscribing and using my NEON group password, all lowercase, no capital letters. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll find me in one of these videos. Maybe if you put down your summon sign, you'll see the runes like this. See? Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below and subscribe and check out my guides and all that stuff. I, I make a whole bunch of, a bunch of content, a different content, but I primarily focus on teaching people. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.